Now, next test is winding or burden resistance. So what I did, so what I want to do is to measure the resistance of uh, this uh, secondary uh, side of the current transformer. The winding of the secondary side has some turns, so the resistance is not negligible. Um, the point about measuring the resistance is that there is a problem of danger. And if you are to measure the resistance of a big transformer, this danger can be high. Anyway, in our test, what I am doing, you see, this is again my secondary side of the current transformer. I remove it from where it was and I go here to this source of DC current. Okay? Uh, being a resistance measurement, I also need to connect my uh, voltage measurement input to the secondary winding so that I can measure the voltage and the current that I am injecting and by the ratio I know the resistance. Uh, generally speaking, you have to take real care when, when you are performing this test. Why? Because we are generating a DC current and by definition the DC current is saturating your transformer. It is saturated. So, after this test, it is absolutely advisable to perform another test with AC so that uh, you remove this remnants that is surely there. The other thing is that, uh, according to the, the dimension of your current transformer, there could be a problem that uh, you can be facing. Now I enter the selection and I find this uh, first part, it is temperature compensation. What is it? It is that uh, current transformers usually uh, are operating at some 60 or 70 degrees C. And at that temperature, the resistance of the copper, you know, it is changing very much, and the resistance that you measure in the real uh, operating situation is much more than we could be measuring now because now we are here at 22 degrees C. So what we can do? We can say that now the ambient temperature, well, first of all, the purpose is to compensate for this change. We know the temperature coefficient of the copper and we can know what the resistance would be at the reference temperature. So I can enable this. I can say here that the ambient temperature is 22 degrees C and I want the reference temperature, for instance, at 70 degrees C. Okay? And you can have, you have the choice between Celsius or Fahrenheit. Now, it's done. Uh, all I have to do uh, is uh, here. I repeat, now what we do is to apply a DC voltage into a DC current into the secondary of the current transformer. You see, resistance variation, what is it for? It is because the current transformer in all transformers will have a, an inductance. Eh? And by the way, this inductance in big transformers is so big that you are close to be unable to, to perform the test. Anyway, with big transformers, the way to improve the situation is to short circuit all other windings unless the one that you are testing. Okay? Now, this is a small current transformer, so I don't do anything. Otherwise, I should short circuit the primary side. Now I increase the current slowly, you see, as I do, you see, there is, there is a, this message here telling me that the resistance is changing, so therefore this means that due to the inductance, the uh, measurement that I am doing at the very moment when I increase the current is wrong, 
the cause of the presence of the inductance, but, but at some moment uh, you, are, so you can see that uh, even if I keep on increasing my test current, uh, you see that the uh, resistance here doesn't change anymore. And you see that the resistance at my temperature now is 176. The resistance at 70 degrees would be 200. Okay? Now I can say uh, and I repeat, uh, go down very slowly. And as you do, you see, it takes some time before the resistance measurement is correct. Okay? And that's it. Uh, last, I uh, repeat, uh, after this test, uh, please go to a curve saturation test, uh, apply AC voltage uh, and reduce it uh, slowly so that uh, the relevance is not.